Matthew Bowling is a track and field superstar who hasn't even left college yet. And ever since he ran the fastest 100 meter ever recorded in high school, all eyes have been glued to him whenever he steps on the track. But some people are wondering why in his fourth season running for Georgia in the FEC, we've yet to see him legitimately run faster than his high school 100 meter. But the truth is that Matthew Bowling has already had a great college career through this indoor season. And he is a generational talent who just might be focusing, perhaps, on the wrong event. And here is why. First, I have to point out that Matthew Bowling is a natural sprinter. And what that means is his body does a lot of the things that you have to do to run really fast without being coached that much. And that is why his senior year of high school in Texas, he dominated the track scene, perhaps running a near perfect season. But high level college track and field also has a bunch of natural sprinters and they don't get the same attention or perhaps the same amount of pressure that Matthew does. And he will always be judged by the standards set for him by that miracle 100 meters, which was highly wind aided, might I add. But in high school, he also ran one of the most inspiring comeback legs in the 4x4 relay, which should have been a sign of what he's truly capable of. And now at Georgia, Matthew consistently runs the 4x4, but his primary event still appears to be the 200 meter. He did win the 200 meter twice at the NCAAs, but that was running indoors. And though he's never won these events at the conference or NCAA level, he's run a lot of 60 meters and a lot of 100 meter dashes. But the times he runs in those events compare incredibly well with LaShawn Merritt, Wade Van Niekerk, and Michael Norman, who all focus on the 400 meter dash. Matthew is not just a natural sprinter, he's also a strong one. And that's why he can run even faster indoors at times than he does outdoors, which isn't supposed to happen. And this year, he ran the indoor 400 one time and lost to Elijah Godwin by 0 .04, who is the national leader right now. Matthew even ran the indoor 300 meter one time, and he's the collegiate leader in that event, which proves that if you give him more real estate, his true speed will get a chance to shine. Matthew chose to run for Georgia to go to a program that would truly challenge him. And the SEC track and field will do that to you. He might win another 200 meter dash at the NCAAs or even shock the world outdoors in the 100. But Matthew's best event is likely the one they barely let him run. But if he ever dedicates an entire season to preparing to run the 400 meter dash, it is likely that nobody else in the NCAA will be able to stand in his way. And it doesn't matter how natural a sprinter they might be.